Yeah. Oh, hey, Chris. Welcome! <laughs> hey, Stone. What's kite, Chris? Do you know what kite is? Uh, yeah, it's a toy that little kids fly in the wind. What do you want? We want to know what you know about kite. What do I know about kite? <laughs> Dalton is a developer for Kite. Are you? Is that your official yeah. title? Okay. Um, Kite is essentially a software platform. Do I really have to hold this? Is this my microphone? Hi, do you know what Kite is? I do know what Kite is. Do you want me to explain what yes, Kite is? Yes, I would love if is you could explain what, what Kite about? is. Yes. So Kite is a tool that we use to figure out some easy wins and ways to improve our um, accounts across Google. Was that right? That was good, yeah. It was very good. Can anyone here tell me what kite is? Who knows what kite is here? Does anyone know what kite is? What? What's kite? Do you know what kite is, sir? Um, kite is a. Oh, now I'm blinking. Thank you. Kyle, do you know what kite is? It's a PPC automation tool. Did you scare the dog? I know. This is the wrong day to bust goal. in here. Uh, my name is Jason okay. Smith, uh, Edward Smith, um, Jason Safem, Edward Smith, and uh, <laughs> I am the uh, lead brand designer and lead UI UX designer of Kite. Hi, I'm Chris, uh, co-founder and lead engineer for Kite. Hi, I'm Dalton, uh, developer. For Kite. Hi, I'm Christina. I'm the customer success representative for Kite. Why are you laughing at me? <laughs> Hi, I'm Kevin. I'm a developer of Kite. <laughs> Hi, Dalton Buckingham here. And we are here to find out more about Kite. Kite is software tools for, <laughs> for uh, digital marketing professionals. It can help you automate uh, repetitive tasks and help you find opportunities for improvement that might otherwise be difficult to find uh, through manual inspection. Hey Chris, what's next for Kite? Oh, I'm so glad you asked that question, Dalton. Um, big change for Kite coming up is going to be a shift from a reporting tool into an automation tool. Right now, Kite generates reports that gives instructions to users on how they can make improvements into their digital marketing campaigns, and in the next month we're going to be rolling out features that are going to automate and make those changes on their customers' behalf. Hey Chris, who is your favorite Kite team member? Oh, um, that's such an easy, easy question to answer. <laughs> Every day at 11 we stand up and talk about things that we did uh, previous day and things that we're going to do uh, today and if we have any blockers or not. Nice. Happy Tuesday nice. everyone. Happy. I hope you're all doing well. I apologize for the <coughs> live recording of this meeting. Yeah. It really helps out to be uh, I call it. pressure. Yeah. It's a, <laughs> it's a real high pressure meeting now. Thanks, Kevin. Taco Tuesday? Kevin, Kevin hands in for Taco Tuesday. Dan? Hands in. Taco Tuesday! Taco Tuesday. Uh, one of the big features of our daily stand-up is the discussion of our blockers. Um, you know, because not everybody's in tune with what everybody's doing all week long. If somebody gets stuck on a problem or has a blocker where they can't move forward, uh, make sure that that blocker is brought up to the team level as quickly as possible, you know, in, in less than a day, so that we can get that block removed and people can keep moving forward on on their tasks. So, checking in, making sure communication is clear, and if we have any concerns, or everything's out on the table in these meetings, so that's why it's really beneficial. Communication is key. Mm -hmm. You know, when I get stuck on a problem, I like to talk about it and uh, you know, uh, just throw it out there and usually the team helps me resolve that issue during the stand-up or at least schedule some time for help, so it's very helpful for me. Yeah, the benefits of stand-ups are, are insanely beneficial. 
to the workflow of the team mm -hmm. and uh, making sure everyone's on the same page, making sure everyone's uh, up to date with each other's tasks. I do use Kite. Um, it's one of my favorite tools that Client Boost has um, produced, actually. Um, wh the reason why I love it is because it gives me kind of like an inside look behind the scenes because obviously I can look into the account and see what appears to be true, but Kite gives you that deeper look into it. For example, I look at scags or negatives that I might need to implement and I love the different tabs. It can give you a summary of what it is, recommendations of how to implement, and then data behind what those changes will actually do. So it gives you kind of each step behind it. It's a great snapshot to show a client as well. So it's that extra data behind you to support it. So it's just extra pair of eyes that is a little smarter than I am. So what I like to do is first go into the summary so I can read about what this suggestion is telling me and then recommendations of how to physically apply what it's suggesting. So for example, bid up on a specific keyword and then the data behind it. So this will physically show you, it'll cost this much, you'll increase this many clicks if it's good or bad. And then settings is just how to implement if you want. But these three tabs are the best tabs you could ever work with because it's what it does, how to apply it, how it will affect. Favorite memory of 2019 has been...